So you want to start live streaming, but you don't know where to start. Don't worry. With Melon app, you can easily start streaming live from your web browser with ease, and I'm going to show you everything you need to know about it. Let's go. If you're not familiar with what Melon app is, it allows you to broadcast directly from your browser from any device, whether it's your Mac, Windows PC, iPhone, or Android. And it's one of the simplest ways, if not the easiest way, to broadcast directly from your browser, which I'm gonna show you right now. We first have to create an account on Melon. Simply log in with Google slash YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitch, or Periscope. You can even log in via an email address if you so choose. If you plan on logging in with any of the platforms we mentioned earlier, make sure you're logged in on those platforms before you proceed here. And just a quick note, if you plan on logging in with YouTube for the first time, YouTube requires a 24 hour validation period for your account. If you plan to stream to YouTube, please make sure you sign up 24 hours in advance before you start streaming. Once logged in, please make sure you enable access to the microphone and camera. If the camera is not showing up, please click on the little lock at the left of the address bar near the HTTPS and click settings and ensure that you have granted access to the camera and microphone. Also make sure that you don't have Zoom, Skype, or any software that may be using your camera running in the background. If you're still having issues with your camera not showing up, try cleaning your caches and refreshing the Melon page. If you still don't see anything, be sure to reach out to Melon support because we'll be more than happy to help you out. Now we have to choose your sources. You should see yourself on the left-hand side. Click on your image to add yourself to the stream. The canvas is what you'll be showing up on your stream when you're live. So if the canvas is black, that's what you are streaming. If it's showing you, not the guest, you are only streaming yourself. Think of the nav bar on the left, kind of like a waiting room, while the center canvas there is your live show. To invite guests, all you need to do is send them an invite link. You can get this in the top left corner. Guests don't need anything to make an account. They can join your broadcast by clicking on the link you send them. It's really easy. We know no one likes to make accounts, which is why we made it the simplest sign-in process ever. When you're finally ready to go live, just click on go live and pick a platform. You can also pick multiple platforms. With the standard plan, you can stream to three destinations like Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. If you have the pro plan, you can stream to a total of eight destinations. You can even stream to your own personal website via a custom RTMP stream. Depending on the type of streamer you are or want to be, streaming to multiple platforms at once is a great way to have a better reach and grow your audience. When you're live streaming, you wanna get familiar with the control panel, which is below your canvas. You will see a way to share your screen, view chat, and edit your screen. Sharing your screen allows you to share whatever is on your computer. You can choose to share your full screen, a specific application, or a specific tab in your internet browser. Your guests can also share their screen, and their screen will appear in the waiting room just like a guest. To look at the chat between you and the other participants, you can click on the chat bubble. There's an option to see the private chat, which is just between you and the folks on the call. This would be the chat you can also use for private calls when you don't want to stream. If you do plan on streaming to multiple platforms at once, the nice thing about Melon is it's gonna collect all the messages from all those different platforms and put them into Melon's chat so that way you can keep up with everything. When you're live streaming, don't forget to personalize it. Click on edit screen below the canvas near the go live button. You can change the background, ticker, banner, add your own logo and do a lot more. You can always edit the screen even while your broadcast is live. Anything you wish to change can be dynamically updated whenever you are live. You can also enable alerts integrating Streamlabs with Melon. This will help you monetize your stream and engage even better with your audience. When you're all done having your awesome stream, all you need to do is click on end stream in the control panel below the canvas. If you have a Melon Pro account and you have enabled recording before going live, you can download video and audio tracks after your stream is over in the broadcast history. Just click on your avatar icon and go to settings and broadcast. We're always trying our best to improve the Melon platform. So if you have any suggestions, hey, don't be afraid to send us an email or you can leave us a comment 
down below because we want to make it the best platform for you. Now, if you're already using Melon or plan to use it and want to know how to use it to the best of its abilities, I'm going to put a couple of videos here up on screen that are going to dive a little bit more into Melon and how it can help you be a better live streamer. Wild for games, wishing you the best of luck. And as always, take care. And of course, peace.